recently because my my video that I'm currently still editing right now is about space, you know, as in yeah. the final frontier. Yeah. Um, and so I've been doing a lot of research into China's space technology and, you know, their whole space program and everything. Mm -hmm. And you can't deal with Chinese technology without running into Miss Wow all the time. Right, seriously, okay? she's everywhere right now. And uh, she, by, but she's not. By the, she's no following. By, by the way, the things that she says are... That's bloody outrageous. I, I, I just want to get into that for a second. The things that she claims, like yes. she, she has videos to say, China's new secret space plane has been flown and it's 100% successful and, it's, and she shows some CG crap that she got. And then I do research and no, it hasn't succeeded. There's no proof that anything's been done. No. Nothing has been successful. No. Um, so a lot of the claims that, and remember, she's a journalist. We're not talking about someone's little blog or whatever. These same videos that she puts on her, her other channels and stuff are on CGTN. Yes. By okay. the way, she is, this is not, I just want to preface this. this is, these are not her words. No. She's reading a script from the state. Yeah, yeah. And I can tell it's been directly translated from Chinese. Yes. It's, she's basically reading a teleprompter every time. I, have, I, I would highly doubt she even knows what she's saying. Sure. I mean, the fact of the matter is, though, yeah. when it comes to China's technology, the things she says are just lies. Yeah. Yeah. Like For lie? lack of a better lie. word. Okay, well, <laughs> she released a video that's like China's top five technological innovations. Yeah, you can skip past her blur. Which, by the way, in the video, she only showed two. Yeah. And even like in the one comments. One of her fans is like, yeah, the her, one, remember I said the yeah, fan? Yes. He was like Z Garney or whatever. He yeah. goes, where was the other three? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start out with, um, well, we're only going to show one. The second one's not worth it. But we're going to show this this to you guys quickly, okay? This is the, the driverless tractor. Yes. Remember, this is China's top innovations over here. A tractor driven by hydrogen fuel cells, and that is autonomous. On June, the China National Agriculture Machinery Equipment Innovation Center launched China's oh first 5G plus yeah. hydrogen Gosh. fuel electric tractor in Okay, so now first of all, they say 5G. And it's hydrogen, by the way. Yeah, it's supposed to be a hydrogen cell. Of course, there's no proof of that. Um, it's literally just looks like a normal tractor with a really crappy, like if someone took an Ultraman toy or something, yes, you know what I mean? Yes. Made like a plastic thing and stuck someone it on Someone had friends at the plastic toy factory. Yeah. And they made the shell. They just this. like scaled it up. Yeah, they right? scaled it up badly. Yeah, so let's take a look. The future-like unique Ultraman tractor was named ET504H. The tractor is equipped with China Mobile's 5G network. Car now this is, this is the part that's really ridiculous okay so this for those of you who can't see it's this ridiculous looking tractor like if somebody decided to make a kid's toy for like a space tractor yes okay <laughs> yeah it's too big <laughs> yeah like by the way i'm so yeah. i want to apologize to everyone we were so wrong when we said that china's farming techniques were behind yes because you know apparently they have this so what it is is it's a tractor that can avoid a signpost Yes. Um, okay, I'll revoke. It's re totally full of lead acid batteries. Yeah, of course, of course it is, <laughs> That's dude. hydrogen. So take a look. They put a signpost in the middle of this <laughs> farm field. So okay, let's. Ugly. Yeah, it is. It's <laughs> awful. It gets better. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. Future like unique almond tractor was. So you see that signpost? Yeah. Because, you know, when people put signposts in the middle of a farm land or whatever, it's got to be able to avoid it. Let's watch how, how it maneuvers. Name it's like, EP I'm going to avoid that. Okay, great. The tractor great. is equipped with China Mobile's 5G network, card inside, which provides smooth movement supported by 5G. What does 5G have to do with that? That's my whole point. Okay, so this thing... It's supposed to be an autonomous tractor. So I presume what you do is you say, okay, go and, you know, like do this field and go in a straight line and then turn around and come back and then whatever. So the sensors inside will make it avoid like a signpost. That's got nothing to do with communication. But when you want to send, which boils down to like logo commands to this thing, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't require 5G technology. Oh. You could send it with like a 2400 board modem. It doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. We're not talking about high yeah. bandwidth stuff. No. Giving it like very One basic command. directions. Yeah. Yes, doesn't need bandwidth. Yeah. But apparently, because it's got five China's 5G, because remember, they have to keep pushing you 5G. Have to. Yeah. It's got 5G in it, so it helps provide smooth movement. Yeah, that's how... 
5G is what controls the movement of this toy tractor. Yes, exactly. It's somebody with an RC. You know it's there's somebody so, standing there. It's so 100%, yeah. It's so freaking RC. Yeah, yeah. The tractor is based on the Super Tractor 1, released in 2018. Wow. Can you tell me why there's a Decepticon logo from Transformers? That's that's <laughs> they, a they China thing. Yeah. They can't not. They Dude, tried so hard. You know, you know, when uh, I first got to China, remember like the, the the everyday kind of trucks that just haul crap, like those really horrible knockoffs of Isuzu the trucks. Yeah, those they're usually like a kind of a rust color yeah. or they're blue, they're right? Blue, yeah. They used to have like a, a sticker of like Optimus Prime or whatever, yes. like a transformer next to the door. And I always wondered why. I In the beginning, I thought, oh, yeah. these drivers have got some personality. Yeah, they want to like, hey, hey, I'm driving a truck. I may yeah. as well make it like I'm kind of yeah. like in a transformer. It's no, that that's from the factory. It's the logo. It's th that transformer picture is yeah. from the factory. Yes. They that's just a, stole it. And they just put it on their trucks. Yeah. It's like that's standard equipment. Like welcome, when you buy it. Welcome to state media making up a fake, literally a fake tractor yeah. out of RC car lead acid batteries. Yep. Remote controlling it with a remote control, yep. not using 5G technology and putting a freaking Transformers badge on the front. I know. It's got a transform. And okay. This is top Chinese state media. Benefit of the doubt. Let's just say that, okay, it is fully autonomous. Okay. And you can send commands to it. It's not. Okay, well, let's but just, yeah, let's this just say. benefit. It yeah. still looks dumb. <laughs> it's so crappy. Why do you have a, a Decepticon logo on it? Okay, come on, guys. Chinese but there's more. Look at that freaking sensor. <laughs> okay? I love that. Can you see the sensor is like stuck on with, I don't know if it's glue or Velcro and the Tape. cable. The yeah, the cable is my favorite yeah, part. Yeah, the, the cable is like coming th through the little gap there. Like, can they not mold it into this no because it's not real yeah they did this last minute and they're like oh we need this camera so that it can yeah. like the sensor so it can avoid stuff yes. or whatever and so they stick it on <laughs> like an at, afterthought look at that it's awful this is yeah it's awful okay this let's is chabu yes it really is this electric driveless super tractor is already in the field it can be on standby for 24 hours apparently well, that makes a lot of sense. It, actually, I'll rephrase it for it has to be on standby for 24 hours because it, it doesn't move. Work. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is the most Chabadwa thing I've ever seen. I know. It's ridiculous. Look, they can't look, even make three the same ones. Yeah, look, they, they're all, they all differ because it's like... <laughs> it's like slave labor they're like, in like we a gotta put North these Korean factory. Look at the wheels aren't the same. Oh it's supposed God. to be like, this is a fleet of these things, but they're all different because they're all just thrown together. They don't even have the same wheels. You know, this is obviously one of those things where they um, um, put this stuff together. Yes. And they get funding. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's it. They're like, look, what we have working was, prototypes. The central government is so disconnected and so lost. Mm -hmm. They said, here's a million dollars yeah. to go to this thing because there's nepotism, right? Yeah. Someone's uncle's friend's cousin had Guanxi like, connections with like a local area. And they're like, we can make this. And yes. they got all the funding. They blew it all on cognac and yeah. cigarettes and by Joe and hookers yeah and then they said shit we have to put this out in a week they went out and forced people to make the worst crap and cobble together some garbage all, all they did was buy some existing tractors or whatever they are like cut the cab off you know and then put these things on this like crap plastic body on top of it hold on you know that story I just told about how these yeah. were created, This that made-up story? Yeah. If I, if the people involved in this project heard me say that, they'd be going like this. Yeah, they'd be like, <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Because yeah. that's what happened. Yeah, absolutely. So what I like the most about this, which is... <laughs> Why is it's, that? It's, it's, it's Why just is that? a freaking tractor with a bloody shell on it okay. it makes me think that they did this in reaction to us because we always talked about how poor, the poor chinese people are still using oxen stuff and they're yeah. trying to portray the government's trying to portray itself as richer than america or yes, something yeah. and the people are using oxen toiling it, through the there's dirt probably even a dude sitting under there you know like driving it <laughs> no, he's looking through small. a little slot too small. he's like in there i think that tractor is smaller than we think I think so yeah I also want to point out how wonderful the countryside looks there. Yes. Can you see the the beautiful sky? Oh, that's pure smog, and that's what a lot of China looks like most of the, the most of the time. Yeah, it's it can be very depressing. Yeah. Um, 
the, Look at the that. CG rendition. You know it's not hydrogen. No. I mean, that's the most grotesque over, over yeah, exaggeration. There's, again, there's no proof once again. This is something I found specifically when I was doing all this um, the research into China's space program. It's alarming. It's, the majority of what they've done in space real. is CG. Yeah. They only have CG footage. But you'd think with a billions of dollars being thrown at a program like that, it would be meticulously filmed. Yeah, because I mean, for propaganda. America and uh, the Soviets yep. managed to film their missions like to the moon day. and stuff with cameras yeah, in, in the, the 60s. 60s. But China, for some reason, cannot no. film their rockets once no. they, they show them taken off. Yeah. But then when they're in space, it's all footage. CG renditions. Yeah. There's no, like, you can't see the second stages falling off. None of that. They do it all in CG, so, you know, it's Makes a bit me sus. a little sus. Yeah, it's, it's sus. sus. It it's sus. sus. Um, anyway, apparently, like... <laughs> That's not how it works. A satellite sends a signal to a book. You know, the way that it's portrayed as well in state media is that everyone in China is now using these tractors. But yeah, and it's also like, look at this incredible technology that Ch China has yes. invented. Yes. You will never see one of these. This doesn't yeah. exist. It's not no. real. Even this fake one is not real. And it's not running on hydrogen. No. And okay. it's not 5G. No, it's just... <laughs> it's got a sensor taped to the front. Yeah. Now, my favorite part is now they're showing it in action, but yeah. notice how they had to speed the footage up. Yes. Okay? Yes. See, it's like... Look, it's like... It, all it needed to do is avoid this man. And they had to speed the footage right. up. right. A, a person could fit in there. You're absolutely right. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. They had to speed the footage up because it's so slow. Because <laughs> it's... Probably a very weak electric motor powering this huge no, behemoth. And if it, even if it is, it could just be a regular motor. You never know. Oh, you mean an engine? Yes. No, they have so many cheap electric motors. Yeah, I'm sure. Electric. But maybe they just bought a normal tractor, like I said. <laughs> okay. It's not that hard. It's not. There's no sound in these uh, videos. They've I, taken the you sound see out. The diesel smoke. Though. No, dude. Like the, <laughs> they could just. Be, it could be capturing it in like a bag under there. You could never be. know. I'm, I'm going. But on, it's probably electric. I'm saying it's an e-bike motor. Yeah. Whatever it is, you want to show that this thing is good at avoiding obstacles. So what do they do? They put a like uh, the caution <laughs> wet sign on the floor there. I'll get us out of here so you can actually see it. Okay. You can now see the um, uh, right there that sign, and what then it's like. Is that? It's like. Whoop, super fast because they sped up the footage because it's going at like three miles maybe, three miles a month maybe, or whatever yeah, yeah. then i had to speed it up to avoid that man yeah you don't need to yeah we don't need to show that but the, the whole point is it's like it's this fake it till you make it crap yeah look it's just not real and somebody might watch this and say wow china has yeah. autonomous hydrogen powered tractors or, or read about it yeah right so you don't know yeah. Like, oh wow. What what do we? I always see tankies do this. They're like, America. It's like uh, America, and it's some backwards thing, right? Like a like a road and no high speed rail, and it's like meet a while in China, and they so, show stuff yeah. like this, and you're like, you guys really have to understand. It's remember when they made a big thing about making a trackless train? <laughs> it was a bus. It's just a bus. <laughs> Remember the comments like, oh, mother, yeah, the mother, mother effort, that's, that's a just bus. a bus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they were making a huge thing on the shills and everyone were jumping on it yeah, too. They were like, retweeting look, it. look, look, China's brand new, amazing technology. Meanwhile, a trackless America. train. Yeah. But yeah, it's just it's a like, bus. That's a tumbleweed. And then it's like, dude, that's a bus. Yeah, it's just a bus. Yeah, While a, I was um, yeah, doing, this is your, doing your research on the, the, the hey space guys. stuff, she does a... <laughs> She does a lot of the propaganda for space, right? Because she's supposed to be the tech, CGTN yeah. tech correspondent or whatever, right? So um, let's take a look at what she's doing now. Let's listen to this. This is my new buddy, AR Okay, just quickly for everyone, a Taiko Nord, because a Taiko Nord is China's English word for their astronauts. Why can't they just call it an astronaut? They want to be different. Right? Astro isn't a, a nationality. No, but I mean, you do get cosmonauts. As yeah, there. fair enough. So they wanted their own thing, okay? Because oh, Taikong is, yeah, is space. Yeah, Taikong is space. And like I said, nought is what they've contributed, you know, contributed to space <laughs> technology. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's just uh, continue, all right? So here's the AR tech nought, as she calls it. Man, tech, why do we say tech nought? Because it's Taiko nought, right? It's hard to say Taiko I guess. Maybe. Yeah. So this is the AR Tack knot. Can we can we just call it <laughs> a tack knot? Let's call it tack knot because it's okay. made of like it's tacky. It's tacky, right? Yeah, okay. it, it, this is really tacky. It's a tack knot. So now look at this. Okay, let's let's watch this. Two thirteen crew members will stay in China's space station for six months. Wow, I'm so excited. How about you? Me too. It's awesome. <laughs> six months is a long time. 
They must feel homesick. Let's send them greetings the from Earth. Yep. Got it. Hi, Shenzhou 13 crew members. I'm Miss Wow. I'm a tech vlogger. Say hi to you from Chongqing in China. So this is like a dual a dual purpose propaganda because yes. it's all about Chongqing. Chongqing is Dude. the forefront of state propaganda right yes. now. There's like a really sinister company yeah. that they set up to be yeah. not government affiliated and it's literally straight up government and it's bad. Yeah, it it's is. Scary. It's government and uh, they co-opt a lot of foreigners to do yeah. stuff. But so this, okay, it doesn't end there. Okay, we'll, we'll skip out. You don't need to care about the freaking hot pot and no. all that. Okay, so wait, what's this? Oh, right. Let's see. Probably a hot pot lover. Yummy. I hate the fact that that stupid thing is doing the floss dance. I hate that and the fact that the meat on the plate is upright. Yeah. Why does why is it upright? They have to always have like a little gimmick. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like they used to do the put a Barbie doll with a meat on it, yeah, like yeah. a Lady Gaga dress or whatever. Yeah. It's always some kind of thing. Yeah. I'm gonna try some. You guys are my superheroes. Hold on, I love the dub. The, so so the AI, or what is it called? AR, right? Yeah, AR tech knot. The tech knot is standing there doing the floss. Yeah. And it's looping. Yeah, it's looping and it's doing like this. And but it's, it's like, yeah, the floss. it's cutting, it's looping badly. Yeah. And then it's it's dubbed and it's not an AR voice. It's just a dude. Yeah. In, it's like, that's awesome. Definitely recorded on a cell phone. That's yeah. a cell phone mic for right, sure. Right, right. Anyway, so now I love the fact that you can download the CGTN app now and let's make a video together. Send your locations and what you want to say to the Chinese tech nuts. And the tech nuts. Send us your location, download the app. <laughs> send us your location. That's what she said. Send, send us your GPS coordinates. Yeah, so share we want to know exactly where you are. To and if you your... say one thing bad, we're yes. sending people after you. We'll send the tech nuts after yeah, exactly. you. Go to your settings, go to general, click privacy. Allow all private <laughs> privacy <laughs> notifications. Okay, but share okay, it doesn't end there because. Let's do this, my dear followers. Let's pass on this best way. I mean, it's it's all nice and good. So she's made sure. this little message. Cheers. Okay. Join us. Love, Love you. you. Hey guys. And then, okay, let's just see if there's any similarities here in this next one that she did. They love this train going through the building oh, thing in, in Chongqing. It's like the one it's thing. thing. All the shills will talk about it yeah. too. You know what that's called? What? Bad planning. It's bad, really bad. There's planning. no reason for no. you to have to put a train through a no. building unless you just don't know what you're doing. They did that in Japan or whatever, but it's just because they ran out of space. Yep. They did that here to make, to copy that. Oh, of course. Yeah. Let's see. Miss Wow here. Welcome back to my channel. This is my new buddy, AR Tech Nuts. And say hi to everybody. Cut. Have you heard the news? The Shenzhou 13 crew members will stay in China's space station for six months. Wow, I'm so excited. How about you? Me too. It's awesome. But six months is a long time. They must feel <laughs> Let's send them greetings from Earth. Got it. Hi, Shenzhou 13 crew members. <laughs> I'm Miss Wow. I'm a. Why is it the exact same <laughs> they video? They didn't even do another take because it's a guy. It's yeah. not like it's hard to get him to record another thing. But she says exactly the same stuff. He's yes. the, the AR tech knot says exactly the same stuff. Freaking tech knot. It's dude. just a copy of the other video, but in a different setting. And it's yes. the same thing about, look, it's Chongqing. Say hi to you from yes. Chongqing in China. They and really they try show to slide some, all the propaganda. They try to show like Chongqing's rail networks yeah, and crap, crap and all yeah. that nonsense. See, look, exactly the, exactly the same. We'll yeah. even end it. Let's, okay, do their whole bloody train through a building thing. Superstars. That's what she did in the last one. See, download the CGTM. Yeah. Let's do this, my dear followers. Your dear followers, your 1.3 million followers that none of them exist. Oh, exactly. Love you. It's it's the exact same thing. That's what I'm trying to say here. Is that they could not even change the no, script no it's emo yeah yeah exactly the same yeah anyway so we just thought we'd throw that in there because i found it quite hilarious i got some incredibly funny stuff about space yeah in my video which will probably be released next week because i i want to do it right there's quite a few things i want to add which i haven't added yet so sure it's gonna be fun. i want to say to the poor tech knot he's trapped in there he's trapped in that little ar helmet yeah and he just wants to get out yeah he wants some of that hot pot they yeah. didn't feed him nope Poor little, poor dance, little tech knot. Dance, tech, tech knot. Dance. dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excellent.